Hey everyone, my name is Tolu Lope Omukore, and I will be your host on Tolu Talks, aka TT. Hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, I'm here with Stephanie Follett. Hey Steph. Hey. She's our Dobo. Director of Basketball Operations is the actual term. Dobo, aka Dobo. So what are we gonna be cooking Here's today? Jack. Hey Jack. There's Jack. Yeah. We're gonna okay. do fettuccine alfredo, okay. homemade. So typically chicken breasts, they're kind of thick. Mm -hmm. I, I like to just make them a little bit thinner. Okay. A little bit easier to cook. So I'm gonna just slice this one in half. I usually like using my hands. <coughs> and get in there. So those of you that don't know, Tolu cooks for the team all the time, right? Team like, chef. What do you, what do you normally, so this is a good thing. Like, what do you normally cook for the team? Salmon. salmon, salmon. They eat, I order salmon for almost every team meal that we, we have. <laughs> because I know that they, it doesn't matter. It could be nine in the morning and I'm gonna order salmon. Yeah, and we'll eat it. You have to use Parmigiano Reggiano, mm. which is expensive. See, no. But that's the key to, if you're gonna make real Alfredo, that's the key. You're gonna grate this. I'm gonna get your muscles going because you're super strong. So she am. is single-handedly the strongest kid on our team, right? <laughs> yeah. Feeling it? Right I'm here. feeling it. Feeling it? I feel the burn. Yeah, feel the burn. Woo! Feel the burn. There Woo! are no there are no off days. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna throw that in there. Always start with the stick, and if you need to add more, you can add more. Okay, and then these are the shallots. I'm gonna put those in first. So okay. they're like a no, they're like a super strong onion. What's your favorite dish by your mama? Mashed potatoes. Mm. He loves mashed potatoes. Whose mashed potatoes are better, mine or dad's? Dad doesn't put butter. <laughs> you have to put butter in everything you cook. Oh, that's a little cute knife thing with the can openers and yeah. nice and smooth. My dad that's bought pretty me that. cute. So in our family, we do, everybody has one name that they pick for for Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. And my dad had me, right? Uh huh. And usually I get a text that says, hey, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm usually like, oh, perfume or a Michael Kors bag or, you know. And he didn't ask me this year. And I was like, geez, wonder what dad's bringing. And so they live in Palm Coast, which is like an hour from here. Okay. And, and he shows up with, he's like, oh, he bought me this. That's cute. I like that. That's nice. It's really handy. It is super handy. So handy. Can open it on the like side. But it's like when you're married measure. after 50 years and your husband buys you a crock pot. <laughs> Like, that's not fun. You're Who right. wants that? Who wants a set of knives? Right. I want a Michael Kors bag. Right. <laughs> but I'll take that too. No, I'd rather take a Michael Kors bag. Yeah. No I'm kidding. Yeah. Yes. How long have you been with her and around her? Coach I've Abe been with her. Coach Abe since um, she was my post coach in college. Wow. So I went so to. So she the, coached you? She coached me. There was a coaching change at the University of Maine. And so when I got there, Joanne P. McCauley, who's the head coach at Duke now, mm -hmm. she she got the head job there. She was 26. Oh, wow. She hired Coach Abe. 26? So Coach Abe was my was my post coach for two years before she left and went to Iowa State. Okay. And then I got my degree in teaching and I taught elementary school for four years okay. after I graduated. And when she got the head job at Missouri State, she called me and asked me if I wanted to coach and I was like, okay. I was 27 at the time, single. I was like, I'll just up and move to Missouri Try, you and know. coach college basketball. And wow. so that's different from your degree teaching elementary school kids. And yeah, when she got the head job there, she said she told the AD her first hire was going to be me, and they in the AD said, well, where does she coach now? And he, she was like, she teaches kindergarten <laughs> <laughs> from kindergarten in New to York. That's crazy. And they so still then got I coached you. for five years, and Tawny. Okay was my first, first team, yeah. she was the first kid I ever recruited. Wow. Like Do you know there's nothing I don't like? Really? There's not a single food. Try me. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. You eat seafood? Crab, scallops? There's not a single Lobster, food. oysters. No, I'm, I'm like talking, oysters. you need to go out, out of the box, like liver, love it. Dare meat. Yes, venison. I grew up in the north and went to school at the University of Maine. I had dairy meat too, it was pretty good. Dairy meat's good. It's actually really, it's really good. Fat. So is moose meat. Have you ever had moose? No. Love it. Um, chicken. chicken? Our chicken. Oh, our oh, chicken. chicken. Our chicken. Come on, Chef Thanks, Steph. Megan. Come on, Chef Steph. 
see how it's cooked? Like, see how that's just a little bit pink? Mm -hmm. Now watch, we're gonna have like a perfect. Ooh. You see that? Ah. You flip one time is all you need. So this is the key. So this is done. So shallots, heavy cream. Mm -hmm. Olive oil pepper. too. And then we're gonna add the cheese. Mm -hmm. Not mozzarella. Okay. Maggiano Reggiana. And then we're gonna drain this. So the pasta's not cooked completely. You don't wanna cook it completely and you never wanna rinse it, ever. Okay. Don't rinse it, ever, ever, ever. And then you're gonna throw it right in there. Just like that. Hmm. And then we're gonna throw it right here to this really big pasta bowl that I have. Hmm. Take this. Did you put salt? Did you put the Himalayan pink salt in nope. there? Yep. You're in charge of that. Oh. Put a little salt in there. Come on. Mm. Be better. All right. This is the fresh mozzarella and tomato with basil. A little salt. Right. Oh, it's like the tape. You can't. It's like you can't cut the tape. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Right. I got it. You know, my Nona is my dad's mom passed away a couple years ago and she she taught me this art of cutting watch this it's really cool she always taught me because I would always watch her cook in the kitchen and instead of chopping like this which is probably what you do you you do it like a watch mm. so you go top down she taught me that mm. she was the best cook ever uh -huh. I'm I'm certified. I'm a certified Latina. I'm so proud of you. Italian. Thank you. I'm so proud. Thanks, Dad. I'm so proud. All right, so we have Diamond Battles with us. Hey, Diamond. All right, so we're about to play rapid fire. So you have to answer as many questions as you can in one minute. Don't think about it. Don't stutter. One minute. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Theme parks or beach? Beach. LeBron or MJ? LeBron. LeBron or Kobe? LeBron. LeBron or KD? LeBron. Apple juice or orange? Apple juice. Orange juice or Cambridge? Orange juice. Sprite or uh, ginger? Sprite. Brown or pink? <laughs> uh, straight or curly? Curly. Sea World or pandas? <laughs> sea World. The zoo or your house? <laughs> Call or text? Text. Apple or orange? Apple. Apple or orange? Orange. Orange is a star. Strawberry. Strawberries and or pineapple. Pineapple. Raisins or broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> Greens or potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> Crabs or lobster. Crabs. Shrimp or shellfish. Shrimp. Is that the same thing? Shellfish? Shellfish? Is that the same? Shellfish? Is that a time's done? <laughs> Alright, thank you. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Look out for the next episode. I'm Tolu Lopez McCoy, and I'm flexing out.